ban away for him. Mm -hmm. He picked up the Brody and he was amazing on it. So, guys, mm -hmm. look at that. Hero effects are ready run. for the playoffs <laughs> for the upper Ooh. bracket finals. Evo's Legends with their draft, going for the early picks, going for the just pick style of composition, and for the side of Blacklist, going mm -hmm. for a more team fight, more utility based team composition. I want to ask you first, Arashi, who do you like more? I think I like. Evo has a scrap more because I really enjoy the early game orientated style and they are against a DD which they are very comfortable going up against. Okay, but what about you, Eterna? Quick prediction, but I'll have to hold on, on to that. We will get straight into game number one. Evo's Legends will take on Blacklist International, the battle of the gods. Hashtag break the code or hashtag Evo's Roar in the comment section. Show your support for your team because we will see them compete right here. But yes, Eterna, give me your prediction, Evo's or Blacklist? I have to lean towards Blacklist here. I mean, they are well known to be able to push that stuff to the late game so i think they are actually a good counter against evos legends as a whole Ooh, but Ferrisay actually already rotating here, not going to be taking that orange buff just yet as Isan will just pressure him away from that and Wise will be the one getting this little wanderer. I thought in the early game, Evo's Legends will have a slight edge in clear and a slight edge in pressure on the map, but right, right now, mm -hmm. it's Blacklist. But here, Oh My Venus is on the DD, but he is not executing the DD feeder strategy. Yeah. That's actually interesting. So that's right? a mind game ban from the side of Blacklist. Trying to show that they're gonna go for the DD play, but actually using it to actually support Ohad and make sure he can scale into the late game comfortably. Yeah, yeah right? I mean, that this is not game. doing This is not going well right now as Rexy pops the Abyssal Ooh. Trap. It will oh. be first blood picked up by Clover right here as Blacklist International without the Diggy Strat, without the feeding Diggy Strat, has already died one time. Yeah, you're completely right here, Mirko. But dude, you haven't sh tell told us about your prediction. My prediction, yeah. it's 1-1, one, mm -hmm. one, I'll be the tiebreaker. I <laughs> like pick compositions, I like the early game, I like crazy stuff happening, and I think Evo's Legends can bring it up here oh. in this game. Yeah, this okay. actually steals away the, natu the neutral creep. Oh, nice. But yeah, now Rexy is just doing his job right now, trading against Eson, getting the better trade here for now. Yeah, you're completely right. I mean, two minutes in, people are quite playing it quite passively here from Very both passive. Blacklist and Evos Legends. They're still trying to secure their respective buffs here, but Turtle spawns in under three seconds. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what's happening oh, in the next oh, few oh, seconds. But Sonata oh, being used, but the flame does not connect. Rexy forced to flicker away, and that's the torn apart memory only being used towards this minion. But it is the torn apart memory used before the turtle spawns, so it will be on cooldown for this fight as Anti Mage will not have the lead here in the lane. Oh, oh, that's Esau taking very low already there, but Anti Mage. Oh, oh the kill he picked up by Fairsick is now he kites away from Edward. Edward using the knockout strike by Anti Mage in the backside. Going to go on to Avoinus, and he gets a kill with the final blow. Now Wise is looking for a trade back, but it is 3 to 1 Evo's Legends as Fairsick will get away from that. From that Paquito. Yeah, guys, what is he doing though, Wise? I'm, oh, wait, but his friends are coming in to follow up. And as you can see here, Oheb and Clover going in on it. A 1v1 situation. But a turtle has been secured by Blacklist, guys. So this will give them an edge towards the middle game. So unfortunate for Evos that at first it gets chunked so low. He almost gets picked off by Edward. Credit to him for that big play. And with that no knowledge that Persic isn't in, in the area, he just went for the turtle and they secured it. Yeah, that turtle will benefit Blacklist International more if they do go for the fights while the turtle buff is active. But mm. if not, Evos Legends, they got a better trade-off. You know, they got a kill for that turtle. And I think if they both don't go for fights right now, it will be worth for Evos. Yeah, you're completely right here. But as you can see, Turtle is still um, 80 seconds, so they still have a lot of time here to play around the map and start ro roaming and dominating their respective lanes. But here you can see Benedetta already trying to push that lane. So it seems like she has that upper edge on the bottom lane here, guys. I mean, knowing that the Alice is being protected, they might just go for plays on the other opposite side, knowing that there's probably less members from Blacklist over right. there. Oh, but now the holy, holy baptism has been used onto Rex. Oh. Now Anti-Mage tries to join in fight with final blow being used to the backside, but he's gonna be stunned as now it will be Oheb joining the fight. Oh. It will be Anti-Mage taken down. He's looking towards LJ as Ferrisic tries his best to run away and kite back, but LJ taken very low is still able to get away as Clover over and goes to the back side. Now onto Venus, a double kill picked up. He's looking for Eason, but it will be a two for one trade for the side of, of Evo's Legends here. Guys, that skirmish was hella crazy. I mean, they were trading over and over. I mean, I thought Blacklist had that upper hand, but instant 
Instant response by EVOS Legends, so props to them for that. Yeah, instant response, but remember, it isn't a worth trade right here, as it was Edward getting a lot of pressure there in the bottom side. Oh. Now, Mercy will get a kill. Clover with the double kill once again. You do not want to give this man kills on the board. You do not want to give this man gold, because he snowballs like a madman on the one one on the Harith, and like we've seen yesterday on the Lunox 2. Yeah, guys, look at that. KDA, he's already 5 0, zero. I mean, he's ahead at the moment. Oh. But Wise tries to retaliate, and EVOS gets... Eos Clover gets really, really low, but he still manages to escape, even with that flame shot attempt by Oh My Venus. Yeah, and Edward now goes on to Rexy, actually landing every single ability, but LJ will be there to help him out, and this will be Blacklist securing this turtle once again, per once again perhaps uncontested, because there's just no pressure right here, and you're right, it will be just Blacklist taking that, but it is the gold lead and the slight XP lead for the side of Evos as they get this bottom turret, Arashi. And my teammate understands that there's no time to actually secure the blue, the purple buff, so he just went for the tower and he might secure it here, but at what cost? And I don't think it will be at any cost as anti mage. Wait, he say he sees Oheb and he, he still goes in for that second mini wave. Now final blow being used as LJ will be the target right now. LJ will still be able to run away with that knockout and look on the other side. Oh. Anti mage gets away. Oh. Unfortunately, LJ doesn't. Clover now the target for Edward, but he will still be able to run away as anti mage meets up with Wise. He'll try to run away. The flame shot dodge. He gets stunned. Mm. A double kill picked up by Wise as he looks towards Berserk going in. That's a lot of damage. Torn apart memory is still not available, but he oh. gets stunned. Down, down Berksic, looking for the kill, he'll get it, and Ishan's next on the dining table. He will get it too. It will be a double kill picked up as the bomb goes on to Rexy. He Guys, has to oh run. My god. Oh my god, wow. he dodged a bullet there, Rexy. Oh my god, guys, what a play by both teams. I mean, I did not expect this level of, I'd, I'd say, uh, chemistry by Evos there. Ooh, but, but look now, at oh, that. Oh, you gotta be careful. It's Edward. That's not just any XP laner. It's perhaps the only one, the only XP laner who can match Anti-Mage. But now Anti-Mage gets another pick on the other side. It will be just a jungler picked up and Oheb gets away. But no, he gets stunned first. Anti-Mage looking for a kill. He will be able to get that kill. But in oh. a moment though, Oheb still surviving. What is this? Anti-Mage getting dodged. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Oheb beating 2v1, making a 3v1 look easy. That was crazy. That was nostalgic to Anti-Mage's Alice, guys. What was that? 2v1? Oh my god, that was beautiful. Oh, but, but look Fursic. at Wise as he goes super Ooh. low and gets slain by Fursic. Such a close game. 11 to 9 as Anti-Mage gets traded, but it will be Oheb taken down as well. And Evo's Legends are in a pickle because it is a 1,000 gold lead for the it's side of Blacklist. Almost 2,000. Mm -hmm. And it's such a different game because we see usually Ooh. plays oh oh, oh clover yeah. what is that what? damage my guy what it's a lot of damage that's but solo kill as i was mentioning there's there seems to be like no dominant side for both teams there's plays happening on both sides of the map yeah and right now it looks like anti mage is just gonna just, again just go under the turret just try to cut this wave before blacklist tries to retaliate for this turtle as it will be started by clover and Fersic now Oheb goes in but does not quite connect as Fersic gets an amazing rhapsody holy baptism connects Next on to Clover, oh he's gonna get God. taken down, and that's a lot of damage. Torn apart memory being used, and we're not going on to Anti Mage, <gasps> looking for a kill. Anti Mage, oh, still running away, but oh he will be God. taken down. A mega kill picked up by Edward, and right now a 2,000 gold lead for the side of Blacklist. I'm not sure if Evos is going for these team fights or, or skirmishes, or if Blacklist is pressuring them. But knowing that they have a better pickup composition, I really don't think it's beneficial for them to be going for these 4v4s and 3v3s. Agreed, but look at that. Abyssal arrow connects as Wise goes on to. LJ Ooh. will be able to connect onto that with the torn apart oh, memory as Edward Persic. now joins in onto the fight with Fairsick. Clover is still there, dealing damage to Venus, dealing a lot, but the Rhapsody will be able to pick him up. He has that six times, so not a lot of gold picked up by the side of Evos, and that will be a favorable trade in the hands of Blacklist International. Guys, this is quite scary um, on Evos Legends. I mean, their pick is so early game oriented, but they are getting really, really pressured by Blacklist, knowing that Blacklist, the composition, it will scale to the late game. And Oheb and Edward is actually making oh, huge plays. Oh, oh my god, he goes in onto Fairsick, but the stun comes out. Now Oheb oh. will be bursted down. It will not be a kill. He has the winner's trust. Oh. Perfectly timed, but there is still that oh damage. And it will be a kill traded. Oheb for Fairsick, but Anti-Mage gets another. It will be two for one. Edward is taken low. LJ is trying to go in, but Anti-Mage into the backside. Final blow being used. Okay, he will be going here. on to Edward, but Wise is tearing it up in the backside. Going on to Clover. No damage. He'll be taken down. Rexy oh. is next. Triple. 
Bokeo picked up by Wise. Guys, this is so scary, and it seems like he's going for the last kill here on Anti-Mage as he tries to get out of this. But no, he's being slowed by Anti-Mage, and he's going on in by Wise as well. Oh. But will this... Oh, so my God, close. so close. Now Fairshake trying to do what he... What, just trying to high ground this, trying to clear the wave as Anti-Mage will be able to be the one who clears that wave. And Blacklist International looking so, so good right now with a 4,000 gold lead and zero... No, five turrets to three. Yeah, this guys. Is, hmm? At this late stage of the game, it's just difficult for Evers to get any pickoffs. Even though they have the control advantage, Edward and Oheb just go straight into the backline and they have no solution to this. Yeah, you're right, and Fairsick still trying to use that range to his advantage, trying to kite way wise away, but Venus misses on that flame shot. The Abyssal Arrow also misses onto two members, and now we will have to see Evo's Legends on defense mode. This is not usually what you see Evo's Legends do. This might be actually a turnaround, because every time Evo's Legends has been brought to the late game by Vixen Alpha, mm -hmm. they've been able to get the dub. Like I said, I was really afraid of this happening, guys. I feel like Blacklist, they have the ability to take that gameplay into the late game. And I, like I said earlier, it seems like they are actually natural counters to EVOS Legends. But as you can see here, Lore already taken to half health. Will Blacklist be able to secure this as EVOS, Rexy, Fursic? They all oh going no, anti -mage in. Anti-Mage is in a 1v4. No. He's going in. The final blow will secure his safety. He gets out of that fight. But again, it is just to reset it. A lot of oh damage. Wow. Fursic with the death sonata gets one. That is a 1 for 0 trade. Oheb looks for a re-engage. That was beautiful by Anti-Mage. Going in, resetting the Lord, giving time, wasting so many abilities used onto him. I mean, he was so close to death, guys. I mean, we know Anti-Mage, his plays are super risky, but thank God that gave them the upper hand here as they get more time. But it seems like EVOS Legends are trying to rebait Blacklist into this turtle, into this Lord area. Yeah, but now Edward goes in for oh, here we go. He's gonna go on to Clover. He's gonna get stunned up and the burst comes in, but that is a lot of damage Slow. by OM. Getting a three-man immobility. He's now going on to Fairstick as this is a disaster oh, for guys. Evo's Legends. Clover is a target. He's trying to run away, but he's gonna get taken down. Unstoppable. Fairstick on the Fair other stick. side trying to run, but OHEP will pick up the kill. No, it's Venus, but Blacklist get a three for zero trade. And they're gonna get that Lord, guys. I mean, Paquito there was just warming it up, waiting for the rest to finish off their zoning, but here we have Rexy opening up the map. I'm not sure what he's trying to do with this. Yeah, and make Rexy. A desperation okay, oh! oh. Yeah. No, it's no. that is a very, very desperate move right there because mm -hmm. Blacklist, they do have the retribution. Now, final blow being used to the backside. Holy Baptism will connect as Anti Mage is still trying to make this happen. Still trying to make the dream work right now as he clears the way, but this might be just a huge, huge mental strain for Evo's Legends, mm -hmm. losing on their favorite heroes right here on Benedetta. I, I figure that anti is gonna go for the split push, and then with that pick advantage, they can try and pull away Blacklist International from mm. each other and try and get picks, but right now anti it just isn't strong enough to deal with Edward or Oheb. Yeah, you're right. And here, Lord is already on its way on the lower lane here, guys. This doesn't look good for Evo's Legends at all. Edward already a two-level lead but Arashi take a look at the items tell me what you can see I mean Oheb uh, is almost at full items and that's not a good situation no. for Evos right now and they do have healing reduction but it's only the deadly blade yeah, you're right. This is the late game right now, and it looks like Blacklist will just be able to dominate from here on out. Evo's Legends, with their early game composition, did not work here. 12 minutes, and Blacklist has already gotten two inhibitor turrets. They have to rotate towards that bottom side, but if they do, look at Wise, look at the damage. Clover gets taken low, and this is the threat of Blacklist right now. They're trying to go under the turret. Anti-Mage, with his abilities, oh still God, able no. to run away, but it will be LJ picked up. Now Blacklist Ooh. gets a monster kill, going into Ohem. Immobility, he gets killed. The Winter Truncheon is there. It will be game number one secured by Blacklist International. Guys, what a game by Blacklist. That domination, that strength. It was difficult for EVOS Legends, guys. It was difficult. I mean, even if they won in damage, they still had that Rafaela to help with sustain. I really I was I kind of impressed with how Blacklist was able to roll against EVOS with so many early games.